Oh, testing, testing. Okay, I see the audio, right? So welcome back to our video on the explanation of chapter eight homework, right? Now, probably uh, this is the first of the two video series of the explanation because uh, you will know in part two is actually quite difficult to explain in a very short video. So uh, let's try to keep this video a little bit shorter then. All right, Mama. now uh, let's go to our chapter eight homework. Part one, definition of demand and supply, which is the easy part, right? Now let's go to the MCs, okay? Now, which the following about demand is correct. Now, first, it is the same as want. No, remember, we keep mentioning, right? Demand equals to wants. That is true, but it needs to be supported by purchasing power okay so in this sense it is not exactly the same as once okay not exactly the same market demand can be derived from individual de uh, demands with a vertical summation no remember right we call that horizontal summation Okay, now refer to your textbook for that. Okay, now this is not important, it's not important. Demand is time specific. Yes, this is true, right? We talk about demand over a period of time, not forever. Okay, because it's not the same time. Different time period, there will be different demand situation, obviously, right? For example, let's say in summer versus winter, ice cream. Right, the demand would be vastly different. Right, well, say, gonna price and quantity demanded are assumed to be constant when deriving demand curve. No, actually, they are the only one who can move. Okay, actually, we should say when deriving a demand curve, okay, price and QD are the only variables. Okay, other things, other factors are constant. Only price and QD can move, okay, in opposite direction, that is. Okay, come on, hold. Second question, you will see that, right? No matter how price changes, right? The quantity a firm is willing and able to sell, which means this is our quantity supplied, okay? You know, the quantity supplied, it will all be eight. Okay, come on, let's say, Assuming all factors outside of price and quantity shown are constant, the other things being constant, eh? according to the table, right? The supply is inconsistent with the law of supply. Yes, okay. Now, because according to the law of supply, well, law of supply, omega, it says higher the price, it should lead to higher the quantity supplied, other things being constant, right? But look at here, higher the price, QS did not become higher, okay? So it is inconsistent with the law of demand. Yes, A is correct. Now, what about BC? Okay, now, come on, D, D, B, eh, eh, my word, I see. Constant. Okay, the supply at nine dollar is eight units per week. My bar, ah, go man, my bar, you know, am I ah, ma ma, this go. It seems correct, right? But boys, we are talking about supply. No, at a particular price. You guys are talking go man. Hey, mau yet. At a particular price, this is a QS equals to eight units at nine dollars. I got QS quantity supplied by Bucky. Okay, so this one be very careful with the wording. Okay, see the supply is upward sloping. No, it is a vertical. Okay, this is actually a uh, Vertical line, okay. That was a second, yeah. Vertical, okay. Oh, my answer A. Now, finally, look at here number three move from point X to point Y, okay. Now, you will see, right? This is actually a movement along demand curve, and the movement is actually just a price decrease 
leading to QD increase。我哋一定係因為價格嘅變動。OK， this is only a change in price， not other factors。OK， 好嘛？ So let's see which one is correct。我哋睇下邊個啱啦。好嘛，睇下騰字係啦，誒騰尾咗添，係嘛 ？So which of following is true about the movement from point X to point Y? A change in preference? No. If there is a change in preference, okay, then demand curve will shift, which is not our case. Our case is movement along, okay? A change, a decrease in price? Yes, this is the answer. B 咪啱咯，呢個純粹係一個係嘛？純粹一個。誒誒誒，價格嘅下跌啦 ，OK， only a drop in price， OK， it is an example of change in demand， no， all of the above are correct， no， OK， so answer would be B， OK， 得唔得 ？OK， not exactly too difficult， and I think most of you did very well here as well， OK， 好嘛，好，嗱，我哋落去下面啦 ，short quiz 啦，好唔好？誒，有排彈，是彈啦，彈一行，係咁樣啦，好嘛？誒、um, ，等多行啦。OK， 好啦，誒、哎，冇你前面啦，冇你前面啦。OK， 嗱 ，so let's look at here。嗱 ，for the short questions and long question， question one is easy， right？ Define the following terms， right？ 誒、uh, ，時間關係啦，我哋轉過另一邊啦，好嗎 ？OK， 睇下先，啱唔啱啊？唔啱，好，轉過去。哎呀 ，sorry。Here， OK， 嗱，記住啦 ，demand refers to a quantity。One is willing and able to buy， 係嘛？你要寫到 willing and able at all different prices over a given period of time. Okay. While quantity supplied is willing and able to sell at a given price. 一個係講緊所有價格，一個講緊一個價格。Okay. Other than that, okay, there is no more main point. Okay, remember, demand supply all different price, all, all different prices. Okay, 好嘛 Quantity demand, quantity supply. Okay, ah,、uh, different price. Okay, 一個價格 Okay, 好啦嗱 So, 誒、uh, question one, not difficult. 好啦 Question two here. As economy A, there are only two, uh, 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 two firms X and Y, right? Now, assuming their productivity is doubled, so what would happen, right? Their QS would double, 係嘛？呢個純粹 double 咗佢 QS 咯，好嘛 ？And that would give us this answer, 係嘛 ？That would give us these answers, right? 係嘛？我哋會去到啦 ，double 咗佢就係啦。And then he asks, what would be the market? Quantity supplied at five dollars. 我哋見到啦，五蚊嘅時候見唔見啊 ？Firm X, the QS of Firm X plus the QS of Firm Y, which would be thirty units plus ten units equals to forty units. 喂，唔該你聽住啊。In your answers, you need to write forty units. 嗱 ，some of you also written right per week. 係咪？其實最好嘅應該寫 per week 嘅，不過算啦。係嘛？最重要 ，the most important. Give me the unit, and the name of the unit is called unit. 個單位個名叫單位，得唔得？ Don't say forty. It's forty units. Okay. Some of you even return forty dollars. 發緊夢啊！唔係四十蚊啊，四十件啊。Okay. 係嘛 ？All right. Now, with that said, right? Not exactly too difficult. 好啦，我哋翻去 then. Let's move on to part two when we talk about law of demand, nominal price, and a relative price. Which this is the difficult part. 呢個係難嗰一 part， 好嘛？好，咁我哋啊慢少少啦呢個，好嘛 ？Now according to the law of demand, remember 嗱次序唔可以倒轉啊。Law of demand says higher the price leading to Low 啊 ，the QD。Vice versa， 即係倒轉都得，係嘛 ？Lower the price, higher the QD. Ceteris paribus, okay? Or ceteris paribus, depending on which origin you are talking about, right? 係嘛？記住啊，一定係 price goes first, then quantity demanded goes second. Okay? Answer B here. B 係呢個 B 啦，冇其他啦。Cannot be reversed. 
direction must also be correct. Okay, hold on. Now, which of the following illustrates the law of demand? You have been a goal, oh my, Taya. People tend to, but I get you, law of demand. There is one very important sentence at the end. We need to hold other factors being constant. So when other factors are not constant, then the law of demand will be inapplicable. You law of demand. Other factors not being constant. For example, A tend to buy more ice cream in summer than in winter. Here you will see the other factor being climate. So A is not correct. Okay, Oma, as people expect stock price to go up in the future, right? People tend to buy more stock. Here you will see. The other factor. So what is the other factor in this case? Would be the expectation. What do we have? Future price. Good expectation. So other factors have changed. Okay. The quantity transacted of masks increased by 500% during the peak of COVID 19. Obviously, you see this question, right? The other factor would be the pandemic. There is a pandemic, right? So other factors. More people shop in supermarket during supermarket sales, right? This is a price decrease. More people in supermarket. This is an QD increase. And that because of the price decrease leading to higher QD, yes, D is the answer that we want. Okay, can you see other factors, other factors outside of price? Okay, how about answer D, only price change leading to QD change, no other factors. Okay, so answer will be D here. And now, this is the third one. The third one, you can see inconsistent. Basically, 99% of the time, it will be asking D relative price version of the law of demand. How can go to let you do I come get that? Oh, let's see. Now, as a revision, remember, according to our red, I did you up whenever there is a lump sum increase in price. Now, you will can you are high lump sum meaning regardless of their quality or size the increase will be the same what happens there are two conclusions or there are longer conclusion yeah when price increase lump sum increase absolute qd would drop second conclusion right we know that proportion or the ratio of the higher Price to the lower price. Uh, proportion or ratio, the relative quantity demanded would increase. Okay, now um, uh, this one we've talked about in our videos, right? Um, uh, actually, in our class, right? Um, uh, the relative, because, uh, relative price of Higher versus lower would decrease. There will be a percentage change. Okay, Oma, we always have these two conclusions. Okay, Oma, what's the moment? As plastic bag levy increase from 0 0.5 to 1.5 per plastic bag, people tend to buy more product of higher quality that requires plastic bag. Yes. This is true, right? Because remember, 0 0.5, 1.5. These are lump sum increase in the cost. 
，係嘛？話知你買渣嘅魚定係靚嘅魚，都係要加多個半。OK， now with the higher lump sum。The relative price would drop even lower. Therefore, people would tend to buy. A tend to 嘅意思即係 proportionally 啊 ，buy products of higher quality. Okay, so A is actually correct. It it goes in line with our second conclusion. Okay, 好嘛 ？More people going to barber shop during Lunar New Year holidays, despite prices being higher than regular time. OK， 嗱呢個我哋上堂都講過啦，係咪啊 ？This is very normal。其實你成日都見到啊，係咪啊 ？This is consistent。嗱 ，But then I will talk about this after we done with this question. There are two ways to explain Part B. Two ways to explain Part B. OK， 好嘛？好 ，C。When a departure tax is introduced to an economy, the total flight distance would increase. Okay, 嗱，首先記住啦 ，departure tax basically an increase in price. Okay, is a lump sum. The total flight distance. 冇理由啊！而家飛貴咗，你冇理由仲飛多咗㗎。OK， so actually C is inconsistent。我陰你啊 ，total 啊。If this is average， then yes， it would be consistent。But this is total， therefore it is inconsistent with the law of demand。Right？ 貴咗啊 ，now taking flight becomes more expensive。You should take fewer flights。應該搭少咗飛機㗎，所以個 total distance 就會跌㗎。OK。好嘛，好 D as a value added tax 嗱，見唔見啊 ？Levied on a percentage of price， 即係呢個唔係 lump sum 嘛 ？OK， as a percentage， the relative price would remain unchanged。Therefore， average quality would also remain unchanged。因為佢個 relative price 唔變啊 ，because the relative price didn't change。Therefore, the relative quantity demanded also doesn't change. As the relative quantity demanded or the ratio doesn't change, the average quality also does not change. Okay, 好嘛，好啦 ，Let's spend some time to talk about option B. There are actually two ways to explain this. Okay, 原來有兩個方法，兩個都 acceptable 嘅。Now let's talk about the DSC explanation, right? 原來喺 DSC 嘅 standard 咧，我哋話咩啦？ Lunar New Year, okay. So you see, right? It is actually other factors being the festival. Because other factors, ah, therefore, how come people would go more despite the price being higher? In fact, this is an increase in demand. Actually, demand is increasing. Okay, leading to both price and the quantity transacted increase. Two are the same. This is the first explanation. DSC tend to talk about this, but second, you may also stick to the law of demand. 你原來都可以用 law of demand 噶，係嘛 ？You can treat festival， 係嘛 ？You can ignore， 你淨係 ignore the festival 呢樣嘢。You can also explain why, because think about it. Normal days, if you go to barber shop, the Opportunity cost would be first at、uh, the fee for haircut. But in normal days, you need to take leave from work, so you also give up salary. Okay, 好嘛 But during festival, the opportunity cost would be the fee for haircut only. You do not need to give up salary. Right? You don't want to put your job. So you can argue, even though this part would have increased, but you see, plus zero, this part actually decreased. So if the full cost in fest uh, uh, during festival time for people to go to barber shop actually decreased. Then the law of demand, cost decrease. What would happen? QD would increase. Hi ma, I think this is a much 
meta explanation than the DSC explanation. 佢其實 full cost 低咗嗎？頂大攞個 demand。When the cost decrease, QD increase， 咁咪去剪多啲頭髮咯。Cost 平咗嘛，係咪啊？好正常啦，攞 demand 啦，係咪 ？Both of them are acceptable answers. Okay, 好唔好啊？嗱 ，DSC usually we stick to A. So if you want to play safe, ah,、uh, using the first explanation, right? Ah, but、uh, let's say if you are really, really good with、uh, uh, opportunity cost, actually you can explain using this way as well. Okay, 我哋以前 A level 就咁学噶啦，系咪？我哋 A level 就学其实 full cost 啫嘛。Okay, 得唔得 ？So. These are the MCs. Okay, now let me speed up a little bit. I think this video is taking way too long already. Okay, now let's speed up to our long and、uh, short questions and long questions, right? Okay, let's look at whether the following situations are consistent with the law of demand. You see, right? Peter buys the same amount of Big Mac every week, regardless of change in price. Obviously, this is not consistent. Why? Because according to the law of demand, right? Law of demand state that, states that QD should change in the opposite direction of price. But here, as price changes, QD doesn't change. Therefore, it is inconsistent with the law of demand. Okay, 嗱答得幾好嘅呢個，好嘛？好啦，係 Part B 同 Part C 就爭啲啲啦。啊 ，Part B 啦 ，People going on foreign trips tend to spend on higher quality product. And they do in their own country. You 發覺喎，喂，原來去外國咧，通常啲人咧會肯願意使多啲誒，願意去買多啲 high quality 嘅嘢啊，係咪？去去外國買只 LV 啊咁樣啦，係嘛 ？Why? 嗱 ，this is largely due to traveling requires transportation cost. Therefore, the nominal price of both high quality and low quality would be increased by the Same amount. This is very important. It is a lump sum increase in price for both high quality and low quality. Therefore, the relative price of higher quality would be lower in this sense, leading to relative QD for the higher quality. Would increase, okay? 嗱，你小心啲用字啊。We are talking about relative, okay? 呢條嘅重點係問緊嘅 relative price, okay? Relative price 得唔得 ？Okay， 好嘛？好嗱 ，C 啦 ，C 問啲咩啊？望下先。The number of people buying sashimi dropped significantly. Despite large drop in price, and sashimi is found to be susceptible uh, uh, to uh, susceptible to uh, sorry ah、uh, to contamination by COVID nineteen, right? 好吧 It is not in violation of the law of demand. Again, two ways to explain. You can follow this way of explaining, right? Other factors are not held constant. Therefore, it is a change in the、uh, in demand. The law of demand will be inapplicable in this case. Or、oh, I see some of your classmates also use full cost, right? Am I? The full cost would be here: the monetary price of sashimi plus the health risk. Okay, then that plus the health risk. Okay, even though the monetary price. Dropped in this case, but the health risk increased. So you see, right? If the increase in risk is larger than the decrease in money price, and actually the full cost would increase. So by the law of demand, actually QD would decrease. Either way, it is not. In violation of the law of demand, 兩個都冇違冇違反 law of demand 啦，係咪 ？Either explanation, it is not in violation of the law of demand. Okay, 得唔得 ？So both are acceptable. All right, 好嘛？好啦，睇埋最後一條啦。Now, finally, the last question 
it's a question that unfortunately I couldn't find a doing lesson, right? Now that I have my past paper with me, it's actually an MC, I think in 2019. OK， 我我再 check 多次先，我唔記得咗幾邊年啦。頭先好快立過啫，係嘛？嗱 ，here you will see there are two sizes for good eggs: the large and small size, right? One is more expensive, one is a、uh, less expensive, right? The quality is the same across the two sizes, so we don't have quality problem, right? It is observed that people normally buy 係嘛 one 誒 one eighty units, one hundred and eighty units of small size and sixty units of large size. 好啦，跟住話啦，啊 lump sum tax of ten dollar. 記住啦，我哋成日都講啦 ，with a lump sum, there are two conclusions. Conclusion number one, the absolute QD should drop according to the law of demand. 係嘛？首先佢要買少咗先。好啦 ，second， we know that the relative QD of large size versus small size should increase because the relative price of large 係嘛 ？The relative price of large size 誒、uh, 誒、uh, goods， OK？ In terms of small size goods, would decrease. Okay, 係兩個都要 check 曬。If you need to say it is consistent, then both tests needs to be passed. If it is inconsistent, either one does not pass would be good enough. Okay, so which is our answer here? 望下啦 ，one forty, eighty. 你見啦，有六十件變咗八十件喎。So no, this is. Inconsistent, okay. Inconsistent with the law of demand because you see QD of large size goods increase from sixty to eighty. This is inconsistent. 冇理由貴咗翻嚟買多咗噶嘛，係嘛 ？No, impossible. Okay. Now second, you will see. 好啦 ，next one. One twenty, forty. 好啦 ，this time both decreased. What about the relative quantity? Three to one, three to one. 係嘛，三比一。So you see, this is also inconsistent. As there is a lump sum increase, relative price would drop. Okay, 好嘛 The relative quantity should increase, but you see that the original one to three now is also one to three. So this is inconsistent. 冇變過啊，佢個 relative quantity 應該要變噶。Okay, according to the law of demand. So which one is consistent? This one finally sixty to thirty. 我哋望下啦。As there is a lump sum, 係嘛？我哋講緊 relative quantity demand would increase. Okay, 好嘛？嗱，呢度漏咗一句啊。This marking scheme, okay, one, uh, uh, there is one sentence is missing, right? 係嘛？呢個 marking scheme 你見到啦。It talks about the relative price and relative quantity demand. Okay, 好嘛？嗱，大家記住喎。Actually, you need to also check another the absolute quantity demanded of both small and large also decreased. 係嘛？你要加翻呢句，喂，原來佢 small 同 large 嘅 absolute 嘅 QD also decreased, so it matches with both of Our conclusions here: absolute QD drop, relative QD of large would increase. Okay, 係嘛？你要兩個都答曬先得。You need to answer both of these two. Then it is consistent with the law of demand. Okay. So probably this video is already too long, but it is for good reason. You see that, right? Law of demand and the relative version of law of demand is actually not as easy as it sounds. So you better do more revision and more past paper in order to practice that. Okay, how about in the next video we are going to talk about the graphical representations? Okay, how about so I will see you again in the next. Video. See you then.